Hey, Coach Abel here along with my colleague Kevin the Machine Weiss of the Able Body Experts, and we're giving you a muscle physiology lesson here, part two, part two. So uh, check out part one if you haven't uh, seen that yet. And we're explaining muscle density to, to people, uh, Coach. And what, what I want to get across is the difference of what muscle density is versus fat mass versus weight scale, etc. And we can't do all this in one little clip, folks, but we'll try to give you some analogies that you can relate to. Here we have a medicine ball that weighs 22 pounds. And here we have a stability ball that weighs, oh, I don't know, three or four pounds? At the most. At the most. So, obviously, there's more density in this ball because it weighs 22 pounds than there is in this block of mass, which weighs maybe three or four pounds. And what we see, the difference is, is the equivalent between muscle and fat. So, muscle doesn't weigh more than fat. It's denser than fat. You'll see an obese person have more of the balloon type of physique because fat is less dense, so it can take up a preponderance more space, whereas a more muscular person would weigh the same-ish, and because it's lean mass, it's more dense, it occupies less space. And the point there is, again, using the weight scale does not tell you how much of your weight is muscle, fat, water, or incidental tissue. So what we're trying to get at here Coach, a lot of the times, a lot of people even uh, think they're bulking up. Actually, what they're doing is adding this, not this, um, and confusing the two. Because they got to buy a new shirt doesn't mean they're bigger. Yeah. It just means they've added a little more of this. We call that the labile component of weight change, which means it's unstable, it's not real, it's not going to last. So, you know, we, again, we see people going into a contest thinking because they weigh more that they actually look better. Yeah. And usually, of course, it's the opposite result. So, again, muscle density looks more like this. Fat mass looks more like this. Anything to add there, Coach? Uh, yeah, just uh, I wanted, I was made me think of like the BMI, too. That uh, Your body mass used, index? Yeah, they're used in, um, which works not bad for average people, but on, a, on an insurance exam that I just had, I came back as obese. That's fat. Yeah, I've done that many times. <laughs> so it's, and that's the way it works in a, in a um, athletic population, those the things like the scale and the BMI index and, and stuff like that aren't real great measures of, of what's actually happening. So. Yeah, it's amazing to me how many so-called advanced people don't understand basic muscle physiology in terms of the weight scale. And they don't use the weight scale as an indicator. They use it as the be-all, end-all. You know, uh, it's not indicating something. It's, it's the actual equation, which couldn't be further from the truth. So, this is part two of understanding muscle density, muscle mass versus fat mass, and this has been a coach amount.